screw it up, Carl? Oh, exactly. You know, I went home. I, I read my script for the NBA, you know. <laughs> of course, no. Um, like I said, this is what movies is made of. You know, you come back, 51 games, missing sellout crowd, target center. And, you know, you get the ball with seven seconds left, no timeouts. you got to make it. I mean, that's – it doesn't get better than that. It doesn't get better than that. So, to be able to uh, come up big for my teammates was – you know, all I've ever wanted to do, sitting on the sideline, I just wanted to be out there to help them and, and contribute to winning, and I'm glad I was able to do that tonight. How'd the body feel out there after? Good, the good. I, I honestly could tell you, I didn't know I played 26. It felt like I played 35, so. Um, but I feel good. Um, just being aggressive, trying to find my spots. Uh, you, know, you're, you know, I'm always not trying to step on toes. I'm just trying to be aggressive, assert myself into the game. Um, I felt like I did that tonight. Um, even with shots not falling the way it was, my efficiency not being what it is, but um, just finding ways to help my teammates, which is, you know, draw attention, give, get easy layups for my teammates, help with uh, doing all the little things, you know. Um, I'm just very happy that I was out, able to go out there and contribute in a big way. Carl, just what, what was the day like getting ready for this? Emotions coming to the arena, like just mm-hmm. going through your routine again for the first time in forever, and then just, you know, being introduced and, and hearing the ovation that you got. I mean, shout out to the fans, you know, just – the love they 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 gave to me coming back i mean it's 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 it, it truly helps and it, and it and it really is uh appreciated you know sitting in that house for so many days and not being able to play basketball only be able to watch the tv you know um it's crazy you know i i understand how people feel at home when you're screaming at the tv telling the players what to do and then they not doing what you're telling them to do you know it gets frustrating so um I just, I'm just so happy that I'm in the spot where I'm able to, like, contribute. And, you know, today was one of those days where I felt the whole day, you know, it, I didn't feel really nervous. You know, you know you're coming back, you feel nervous. I, I just felt like I belonged in, a, in this jersey. I belonged in this jersey. I've earned the, the right and the moment to be in this jersey. So coming here, it just felt like a normal, like a game day um, before I got hurt. And, uh, you know, obviously emotions are running high. I'm just so happy, you know, to be on the court. I'm, I'm excited to go back on the court. Um, but for me, experience just kicked in, you know, just keeping my emotions in check, just pre- truly, uh, appreciating moment, but not letting the moment overcome me. So just, I felt prepared the whole day. Uh, I came out the gate looking very prepared, but you know, Game changed a little bit before I got hurt, so I had to, you know, get accustomed. You know, I had some defensive lapses that was things that we used to do before I got hurt, and then when I got on the court, I had no idea we had changed some coverages and principles of ours. So um, the teammates, you know, I have to shout out my teammates, all single one of them. You know, they were very patient with me. They understood that I was trying to find a flow, understand where um, the team was because I wasn't there. You know, we haven't had a practice with each other you know I've, I've come into this game with no practices with anyone no shoot around just walking into the game tying my shoes and saying let's go so um you know it, it, it's it's like I said today was a, one of those days I'm just the whole day I was just feeling so blessed to be able to know that I was going to put this jersey on and I was going to contribute to my team and uh who would have thought seven seconds left I get the ball get fouled three seconds left you're going to the free throw line for two so Beautiful moment. Like I said, it's what movies is made of, it's what dreams is made of, and uh, I'm glad my movie had a good ending. <laughs> you have, uh, in some ways, a much different team personnel-wise around you with Mike. Rudy's playing differently, um, and when he comes back. like, How are you feeling just in terms of your comfort level with the guys around you? Uh, I feel really good. You know, I feel really good. I think that um, you know, I, I feel I've worked tremendously hard on my game where I'm able to gel easily with others and I have an IQ that allows me to, you know, like I said, even today, no practice, no shit around, find people open, understand that there will be pockets. I think one of the best things we did today was when Nas came up, he set a screen, he slipped out. Both of the guys tried to double team me at the three-point line. Nas is wide open at the basket. That's a, I feel like that's one of the bigger plays in the game. It gave us a, a chance to score when they were scoring. It stopped the bleeding a little bit. Um, but like I said, I, I don't know how much more times I could express it. I'm just so blessed to be out here. I'm so happy to be with these guys. I mean, Jaden McDaniels was special. Rudy was special tonight. Every single person was special. Um, we got a lot of co- contributions from everyone, especially Nas, who just been playing fantastic. And um, in my absence, has truly got to show the world and everyone why he's so valuable to us. And um, I mean, he's just a special player. I've known him since we we was young, and we was on the same AAU team, and I've always known how special he was. And 
I'm just so happy that the world gets to recognize it on a daily basis. Carl, you, you referenced the, the fans and the love you felt before. Um, I think in the four months, you know, between the injury and now, you know, a lot of fans were wondering how you were doing. We didn't hear a lot from you. Mm -hmm. We hear a lot from the team in terms of how you were doing. Did you feel that frustration? And, and why maybe was there so much silence around your recovery process? Um, you know, I just think that it, it, it's a tricky injury. It's a real tricky injury. You know, it's your calf. And um, I, I don't think anyone thinks I have Andre Iguodala calves or anything like that. So I have pretty Robert Covington sized calves. So um, I, I just, I knew it was a significant injury. I knew I didn't have a lot to work with, but uh, everyone was just really worried about, you know, the re injuring. And, you know, it could have been so much worse in the beginning. And then if you throw, if I get back out there too quick, you know, wasn't already feeling right, but at the same time, I go on the court, you know, I could do way worse than what I just did. So um, I just I, I just think everyone was – it was such a tricky injury that everyone was trying to figure it out. And together, you know, um, you know, we, we – at the end of the day, we found a, found a way to make it happen, feeling very recovered. Um, MRI ultrasounds are great, you know, so for me to be able to be in a spot, to have a cab, to just feel like I could walk and do stuff on a regular basis without having that pain and um, having that huge tear in my calf, you know, it's a – it's a blessing to be back, you know, and and I think you know for my teammates they they were they were wondering the same thing, like you know you know a week goes by, it keeps going by, it's no update. They're trying to figure it out, you know. I think, um, you know, like I said, I've never had a soft tissue injury, so this is something that was totally different to me than what the two wrist injuries I've had. So uh, different experience. I learned a lot, you know, so much so much respect, you know, for those guys who come back from those tough injuries and continue to play at a high level. Just maybe to 